Um, yeah, so I wasn't planning on getting the normal bundle, and then my lovely brother decided that that's what he wanted to get me for Christmas, so he got me one, and I was able to pick it up. As you can tell, I also grabbed the new Ultra Pro foil, Jace, uh, the Perfected Mind playmat, as well as the cheap little Ultra Pro um, flip top 100 plus deck box, which is uh, really cool. It's got that black and white what if art on it. Uh, but this playmat is cool. I haven't had a chance to check out any of the hollow foil playmats from Ultra Pro yet, and it's, it's very beautiful. Uh, let me see if I can move it around a little bit. You can see that it's like nice and shiny. Very, very nice. Um, yeah. The edges feel... I don't know if it's just the art that's spilling over onto the edges, but to the naked eye, the edges look really rough in comparison to um, the usual quality from Ultra Pro. But I don't know if that's if that's me or, or what. So we'll have to figure that out. For now, though, we're just going to focus on this bad boy... Um, open it up, see what cards we can crack. And then I was thinking about maybe just uh, chilling on stream for a bit. I need to brew a Pioneer deck. And I think with some of the new cards from Phyrexia, all will be one. I think I have a plan. And I'm kind of going back to my magic roots with it. So um, not my original magic roots, but Anyway, my recent magic roots where I really liked Mill. So let's crack this bad boy open. I love opening the bundles. Um, you know, I have a stack of empty ones on the wall there. It's always been the product that I get for every set. And I don't know if that's just because, like, it was the cheaper option. Okay, okay. Look at that. We got a little... Perfected Jace poster. Oh, with the map of um, New Phyrexia slash Old Mirrodin. Um, I've always loved opening bundles. I'm not a huge fan of them switching to set boosters, but I think that it's okay. They're the only set boosters I ever open in in reality, so it is fun to get those extra chances at the the unique art and the commander cards this is really nice um only recently i think it was it might have been kamigawa was the first one where they finally made the boxes of these things the right height to fit this box um before they used to come with this stupid little push-up box it was just an empty box at the bottom the the bundle the fat pack box used to be a little bit taller and it used to have just this filler piece of cardboard um and i didn't like those as much and they've kind of um strayed away from them with this new kind of design and i really like this new design i i really love this new map i think that i've got a few um, I'm not going to be able to hang this up really easily, but I've got a few like shadow boxes with previous, um, fat pack inserts in it. What I'd love to do is put a couple cards in the front here that kind of show off my favorite, maybe mechanics or my favorite cards from these older sets. Um, but yeah, these shadow boxes are really nice. They kind of just sit on the wall. This one's really dusty. Jeez. Um, but yeah, I'd like to put a couple cards maybe up front. And I think this map of uh, New Phyrexia is a really nice addition to that. I've got a Kamigawa one and a New Capenna one up on my wall right now. And I'm not going to be able to hang that up properly. I'll just put it there for now. So yeah, that's that's a nice little insert. I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. 
And then we've got the box. So the first thing I noticed is that the lighting is really pointing out these glue spots on the side. And I've never noticed that with any of the other backpack boxes before. So it's, it's a little concerning that maybe their manufacturing quality is, is not being uh, looked after enough, but you can really see the glue spots on the edges here. It's got a nice, um, you know, the new, the magic symbol always gets adjusted depending on the set. And then we've got Elish Norn in her mighty pose. And it says Phyrexia all will be one on the top. I dig that. Um, and then we've got some tokens. So we've got some uh, toxic counters for the poison. We've got some card inserts. Yeah, I'll probably keep those poison counters, but these card inserts I don't really do anything with. Like, they just kind of sit in a drawer. Um, if anyone's got some cool ideas or things that they're using these card inserts for, let me know. They're a little bit too big to be like deck dividers, so you can't fit them in most deck boxes. But yeah, those, those poison counters are pretty cool. I like them. I'm not sure if I had the choice and could ask um, wizards to change up their bundles. I don't know that I would necessarily get rid of these inserts. I feel like a lot of people use them, um, these to cardboard tokens, but I don't really use them and I don't know what I would replace them with. So chalk that up to I'm not going to argue about it because... I don't know what to do. And then like always, you get a foil, a set of foil lands with a featured card. And the featured card for the Phyrexia All Will Be One bundle is um, Karumonix, the Rat King. And then you get a full plate uh, set of the regular lands. And you get this nice little insert, which I adore. And then this, these are my, are an absolute gem. I use these for everything. I have a, a full Alex unit down here by my knees uh, where I keep all my cards, my singles. And I use these guys. The, the Alex unit fits two of them almost perfectly back to back. Um, and I use these to keep all my cards. They're really nice. And then when it comes time to moving, like we're doing this month, um, you just throw the top back on there and the only problem is, is I've had to keep all of the tops just in case. So let's check out. Oh, and we've got a spin down life counter. This one's really gorgeous. Um, it's got a beautiful little new Phyrexia symbol on it. Or sorry, I guess that's the Phyrexia all will be one set symbol. It's a beautiful like bone color with the red very very much um similar to elish norn's kind of character design there i really like that that's really cool so we can just take a quick look at the lands generally i don't i like to keep basic lands i have a collection of basic lands but i Kind of flip-flop between whether or not I keep the foil version or the regular version. Um, here we've got like a full playset of all of the different lands. Um, and they're pretty good. These are really bad at foiling out. Um, they really get all twisted up. So it's tough to keep. We'll uh, put... Karumonix. I don't know how to say that name. Off to the side here. It will cover up Jace's face so my camera stops thinking that there's a person there. And then, yeah, we've got the full playset of the same five lands just in non-foil and then some instruction turn cards, which I like. Appreciate them putting those in there for sure. 
I love these little tiny boxes that come inside this bigger box as well because it really helps keep things organized. When I'm building decks in paper, I usually have a few of these out on my table and I'll be putting stuff in and out of these the whole while. Uh, but yeah, let's... I guess let's crack some packs open. Uh, we'll put Kyromonix in the legendary creatures pile. So you get eight set boosters in a bundle. There are... Uh, 12 playable cards in a set booster and it usually includes like one slot for um, you know alternate art or special art depending on the set and then you get um, a normal smattering of rares and mythics it's also one of the only places you can just randomly open the commander cards from a given set so if you're hunting those you have to open set boosters you also get the art cards which are really cool this one is really neat looking um i should maybe take out this this play mat is gonna be more trouble than i think it's worth oh my god so <laughs> if you don't know me you know i love art lands and, and these new phyrexian ones are just beautiful look at that that is stunning super metal i love it um we got free from flesh uh one red mana instant target creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn put two oil counters on it so normally i like to stack my cards as I'm opening packs in in terms of color and then I'll have one pile for special lands, one pile for normal lands, and one pile for legendary creatures uh, offer immortality thrill of possibility prologue to Phyresis meld web curator, nice X gold halberd ooh, blade hold war whip Put that in the two color pile rebel salvo Ooh, look at those these like anime black and white style arts um they're absolutely gorgeous they're oh my god <laughs> ah! i was about to talk and then i moved the card and saw this underneath heck yeah Jace, first pack, baby. Let's go. Let's go. And then we got a listy Nova Cleric. Nova Cleric from the list. Pretty dope. Um, So I would have to say, like, in person, these look less special than I was hoping. And I don't know if it's just because this one has like a printing error where it's off to the side. Um, yeah, they just look a little odd in person. I'm not totally upset with it, but hey, we cracked the Jace. So that's pretty amazing. Let me just grab a sleeve for this bad boy. And then throw it in one of these now the jace isn't worth a ton to be fair uh, i think they're going for like 20 bucks or so right now while people still figure out the uh, format a bit but that's amazing first pack jace got love to see it you love to see it and then we've got kairomonix so we get an island and a Jace in our first pack. We're off to a pretty hot start. Off to a pretty hot start. I feel like I need to turn my monitor more. Ooh, knocking shit over. There we go. There we go. All right, no listy in this one. That's fine. Nice art card. We got a full art 
So there's a bunch of different versions of the lands in this set. We've got the Phyrexianized oil lands, or the Phyrexianized lands, the full art lands, and then there's a black oil smear version of the metal arts. Um, got a cutthroat centurion, chimney rabble. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I hit the microphone. Uh, chimney rabble, shrapnel slinger, annex century, distorted curiosity, Nahiri sacrifice, Tyvar stand, lots of named sawblade scamp. Yeah, I don't know what it is. There's something about these cards that just don't look that nice in person. They look pretty good on camera. Uh, and then we've got Mirage Mockery. It's a commander card. Two and a blue for a sorcery. Choose one. Create a token that's a copy of target artifact creature you control. Or create a token that's a copy of target non-artifact creature you control. And it has an entwine cost. So you can choose both if you pay the entwine cost. Interesting. And then we've got Archfiend of Dross. This is a pretty baller black card there. Veil of Assimilation. And we get a Phyrexian Goblin token. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Um, yeah. So it's nice. So they have one. It looks like there's one slot in every set booster for the black and white kind of anime art cards. And then if there is a. Oh my God, I can't open this pack. Wait, what? Oh, my. This isn't even. I just grabbed a pack from my pre-release kits. Um, whoops. If there is a um, commander card in here, it's not taking up your rare slot, which is nice. It's an in addition to your rare slot. Beautiful art card. We got full art swamp. That's real nice. Quicksilver Fisher. Sky Scythe Engulfer. Titanic Growth. Great card. Lattice Blade Mantis. Meld Web Strider, Annex Century, Nahiri's Sacrifice again, Distorted Curiosity again, and we've got Rust Vine Cultivator. Nice. Oh, baby! Look at that. We got we got the power couple, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the power couple. And then we've got the Jailer and a token card. Okay. Okay. I don't have any more hard sleeves. Those don't fit. Well, I guess I can use one of my new Quicksilver or Quiver. So Quiver sent us this amazing box of colored hard shell premium quality top loaders and it's got this beautiful box oh i guess we can take the advertising off it's got this beautiful box and it just slides out like this and it's got all these colored top loaders and then a bunch of perfect fits i believe they're perfect fits in here we'll take a look um, so we definitely need a black one for Vraska. Definitely need a black one for Vraska. So they have this beautiful kind of colored edge all along the outside of them. And it's I think it's really cool, even if you're not big on like color coordinating or whatever. Um, being able to color coordinate and say like, oh, this is a black mythic rare, so I'm going to put it in a black 
pop loader. And then maybe if you're like building a deck, you can just quickly look through all of your black top loaders and find them all. Oh, these aren't nicely fit either. Bummer. I thought these were perfect fits. Um, do I have perfect fits somewhere? These are... Those are not perfect fits either. No. I know it's supposed to say it on the box, but sometimes it's hard to tell. Uh, those are dividers. Hmm. I've got, what are these? Premium sleeves, ultra transparent, protect and store. A hundred standard sleeves. Oh, okay. So, oh wait. These kind of look like perfect fits. They're both the right size. Uh, they're not perfect fits, but they are better than... They're nice and thick. So I feel like they are a little bit better of a choice for those cards you care extra about. Oh, I like that it's... Uh, slightly matte we got the power couple look at that hell yeah hell yeah love it okay um so now that we've sort of figured that out I don't know where all my perfect fits went. I had a bunch of like side sling. Oh, there's one. But then again, I don't have any more hard. I need more of these. These beautiful hard shells. I like them quite a bit. Um, these were these guys, right? Yeah. These are really nice. This is also from Quiver. They sent us uh, these guys. Apollo Premium Sleeves. They're very thick. Very nice. I don't know. Premium Sleeves makes it sound like they want me to play with the with these. But they're very nice. They feel very good. They definitely aren't flimsy. They're like a hard... Not hard, but they're a solid plastic. I like them. All right, let's keep going. Getting distracted by by sleeves now. Such is the case, as always, actually. I spend way too long finding the right sleeves. Let's keep going. So that was a pretty good pack. We also got the Soulless Jailer, uh, which is a rare... Rexian Golem. Permanent cards in graveyards can't enter the battlefield, and players can't cast non-creature spells from graveyards or exile. Oh, I see a magic card back. Beautiful art card. Ooh, a foil forest. Beautiful. Miscut a little bit. Vivis Surgeon's Insight. Oh, there we go. Surgical Bay. Nice little fancy land there. Put lands there. Surgical Skull Bomb. Nice. Escaped es Experiment. Oh, a Thrumming Bird. Hell yeah. I love these cards. Uh, we've got Mirror Convert. Necropotent Rout Priest. And then our animate or our ink art is Blight Belly Rat. Very good. 
Oh, we got a second one. Sinew Dancer. Another off-cut card. And then we've got Jor Kadeen. First Gold Warden. This is the uh, the must-have for you Boros equipment people. Um, that goes up here. Furnace Skull Bomb. And then we've got a Listy. Teremko Griffin. It's a 2-2 with Banding and Flying. Nice. So we got two Skull Bombs in that pack, too. Nice. Love a good Skull Bomb. Um, let's move this stuff over a bit. Nice. Okay. So we've got four more packs to go. We're halfway through. We've already opened a Jace. We've already opened a Vraska. Very, very nice. Let's uh, take a look. Oh, we've got a Jace art. I don't know why the art cards are always upside down, but such is the way. Full art mountain. Branch Blight Stalker. Carnivorous Canopy. Thirsting Roots. Dune Mover. Nice little artifact there. Oxida Finisher. Slovak Battle Chair. Hex Gold Hover Wings. Hex Gold Halberd. Mirror Convert. Oh, nice. Dark Slick Shores. So far, we've got uh, all of the lands that I want. And then we've got a Phyrexian Germ Token and a Prosthetic Injector. Beautiful. Both of those lands are lands I'm looking for. Love to see it. Here we go. Full Art Forest. Copper Long Legs. Cataxian Raptor. Cataxian Anatomist. Vivis Surgeon's Insight again. Another Surgical Bay. Love it. Necrogen Communion. Ooh, a nice little black aura. Canker Bloom. Hell yeah! This is going to be my guy. Voidwing Hexbird. Hybrid. Hexbird. And then we get a Thrumming Bird ink art and a Green Sun's Twilight for our rare. And we get another Foil Veil of Assimilation and a Phyrexian Might token. Love it. So excited we got the hybrid. I believe I already ordered a full playset, though, so. I'm excited either way. More the merrier. Oh, nice. We've got the Phyrexian Forest. Plague Nurse. Contagion Vorak. Pestilent Symph Siphoner. Symphoner. Blightbelly Rat. Against All Odds. Tyvar Stand, Shieldred's Edict, Bone Picker Scourge, nice. Oh, Fishgrass the Doom Hive, what the hell? Two white, black, green for a 3 3 Phyrexian insect with Menace and Toxic 1. When Vishgraz enters the battlefield, creep 3 1 1 colorless might artifact creature tokens. Vishgrav gets plus one, plus one for each poison counter your opponents have. Damn. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Oh, and we get a Rot Priest. These guys are already going for like 10 or $20. And we get a Flensing Raptor and a Rebel Token. Damn. Okay. So let's put uh, our random commander find in there. It's a mythic, too. Vishgraz the Doomhive. And let's throw our Rot Priest in a sleeve as well. Beautiful. All right, last pack. Last chance. 
or shieldreds. I mean, that's the big money, I think. The big drops are the shieldreds. Beautiful art card. Another full art island. Love to see it. Experimental augury. Anoint with affliction. Shieldreds head cleaver. Duress. Love it. Whisper of the Dross. Another War Whip. Another Salvo. Resistance Reunited. Rustvine Cultivator. And a Monument to Perfection. This thing is scary. I think it's only going to be played in Commander, but it's very scary. And a Foil Axiom Engraver and a Drone Token. Nice. I think Monument to Perfection is going to be terrifying. Um, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm knocking shit over. Help me. You'll love to see it. This is this thing cares about spheres and basic lands and stuff. Very cool. Well, I'm super stoked on that. I think we got some fantastic stuff. We got a couple lands for for our decks. We always get so many forests. Like we got four forests in eight packs. And then we got two islands, a mountain, and a swamp. And we only ever play decks with these two colors in it. So. Anyway, we'll just use the other ones to complete our, um, complete our set. So that we can frame them in the near future. I'm really stoked about that. That was a lot of good stuff. Um, let me just see if there are any rares that I missed. I like to sleeve the rares and put them in a binder. Uh, those are white. Got two thrumming birds, which is great. Not a lot of the other cards that were on my my list. I do like prologue to Pyresis. Just easy ways to get um, poison counters is always good. Always good. Duress is good. Anoint with Affliction is good. Edict is okay as well. Um, wait, where did it go? There it is. But we'll see if it gets much play. Oh yeah, Archfiend of the Dross. not want to open at all. Nice. Yeah, I'm I'm really surprised at how much I'm not the biggest fan of these in person with my with my own eyes. They're not that great. They look fantastic digitally. I was very excited to open them because they look so good, but they're just kind of meh in person. Just kind of meh. And we got some fun commander cards. I mean, these ones aren't going to go into my normal collection, so I'll just keep them off to the side. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we got a Jailer. That's pretty good for only two. It's an 04, so it's like a little bit harder to kill. It just kind of shuts off people's graveyards. I do not mind that whatsoever. Do not mind it. And then we got some lands. The Dark Slick Shores, which is awesome. Some basic lands. Some fancy lands. We got a Jor Kadeen. Which is probably going to go straight to my brother. And we got some awesome, awesome, awesome Planeswalkers. Look at these two bad boys. Uh, neither of them are in foil, unfortunately. So I'll have to keep my search going. Um, I like stupidly started collecting foil Planeswalkers, completed Planeswalkers. Back when everyone thought they were just going to do like a few per set or one per set or whatever. And then they decided to complete everybody and make my collecting impulse an absolute nightmare. So thank you for that, Wizards of the Coast. Jace is good because I'm going to use that to brew this deck I'm going to work on. I love it. Well, I have to thank you guys very much for hanging out while I did that. You know what I'm just noticing? There's no blue. It looks purple to me. How could they make these without a blue? This one's definitely black. So they just decided not to go for all of the colors in Magic the Gathering. A little odd. Quiver. I do like that they're matted a bit. I like the way a matted card looks. Even though I never play with Matt Lee. Just the way she rolls. I have so many versions of this Jason. I was just covering my office. I have the play mat, the deck box, the wall scroll. Anywho. Um, I'm going to tidy up a little bit. Use the washroom real quick, and then um, I'm going to uh, switch over to my computer monitor, and we can brew a little bit. Um, what am I looking for? I'm trying to put these cards back.
we got a raw priest and a green sun's twilight that's amazing i need the raw priest for my um pin the fang bear deck very important but they're already going for an insane amount of money like too much money to be honest for a deck that like I love playing but is also not like my go-to deck ever a little bit of a tough sell you know but if I manage to open a few of them then no harm no foul right no harm no foul love it you'll love to see it anyway i'm gonna take a quick break and then we'll jump uh onto the computer screen over here and we'll we'll uh, hop over to moxfield and and brew some some pioneer i think and then maybe if i have a bunch of energy um I'll show you around my tabletop simulator table. Uh, anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for taking the time to come hang out with us. Um, it's always fun to sit around and talk about magic. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. And let's